Hi right, guys, and welcome into episode 14 of the Play and Explain series. Um, doing something a little bit different today, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing some four tables of Zoom. And I'm going to be doing four tables specifically of 25 and L Zoom because I thought it would be a good idea to do 25 and L, 25 and L Zoom. Simply because a lot of the sweat session reviews there recently are, you know, were uh, 25 and L itself. You know, and I coach a lot of guys that are still playing 25 and L as, 25 and L as well. So I thought it would be a good idea as well to just, to, to, to just do this. So I will be zooming in on the tables each time there is a big spot going down. Otherwise, I'll just stay zoomed out on the four tables. So the recording length for this will be 40 minutes max, lads. Or sorry, 30 minutes max, excuse me, because four tables of this for anything longer, um, yeah, I just, I won't be doing any more. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. Let's just jump into it. And get this out of the way. Or five year fold. We come along here with the king eight this time. Five, two, five, six opening. Fold that there. And that's one of the things I want to mention as well, as I know I mentioned in previous sweat session reviews as well, but like, if, you, if you're not going to play a hand, just fold immediately or act as fast as you can because them hands will add up. I'm not going to say in, in, in a big difference, but you just, you just never know sometimes. You just never know sometimes, as I said. Now opening the jacks here, obviously. Ace king opening here too. Uh, we're going to snap four about here by, I mean, I have a decent sample on this guy, so either way, we're going to be making this probably around 2.5x and just getting this in, basically. So we're going to do that. So we're going to be doing that. We call here on an outer table. Going to isolate this as well. Uh, we flop relatively well here. He's going to have some ace-jack suited, but there's only two combos of that left. There's actually only one combo of ace-jack suited. Uh, so either way, we're going to start with a small bet here. Going to go 25. I'll just take it down. Uh, table 3 here, we call a 3 bet with jacks. We're going to continue jacks with a club. And we're going to start with a small bet there. And we're going to bet this on an outer table now. And we're just going to check fold. Or bet fold there. Uh, if he double barrels here, we're just going to fold, I think. Especially having the jack of clubs. Also blocking the main bluffs like king, queen and king, jack. And now once he checks, we're going to check back. And if he block bets this river, guys, I might end up turning this into a bluff exploitatively, I'm not going to lie. Because I don't think Jax has that much showdown value here in this situation if he goes for a block bet. At least that's what I think. If he goes for a three-quarters bet here, though, I will just fold. Um, but I'm just going to check it back now. And we lose to Queens. That's okay. Uh, three bet Nace King here. We defended this 10-9 as well if it falls around to us. Sevens here going to open, King Jack going to open. 10-9, we'll see what happens here on the flop. I'm probably going to end up check folding, I guess, in these formations. Even though I'm not one to be overfold in this situation, but in them formations you kind of have to. King Jack, you're just going to be checking here, multi-way, 10-8 going to fold. Ace Queen here opening. Um, this is going to look crazy here, but honestly, facing this pot size bet here, I might start folding here already without having a heart or any back doors. I'm not joking. I am not joking. Um, table three here, we three bet the jack 10 or jack nine. We're gonna start with a half pot bet here this time. Let's see what happens. We get called. We're probably gonna bet half pot here again on the turn, but he called so quickly. His hand still needs protection here, guys. So I am gonna bet half pot again. And if he raises, we're just gonna give up. But now we're just gonna check back ourselves. And he's got pocket fives. It's amazing. Uh, ace nine here calling on table three, or table two, excuse me, four nine here folding. So check call in here on table three or table two as mostly. Don't think ace nine wants to raise here too often, if ever. Either way, just gonna call. I'm gonna check call, check call, check fold, let's say here. On table two. And on this river, I'm just gonna go for a small bet because I'm just gonna do that with my entire range here for the most part. So I can still thinly value bet some like obviously Jack X here, and that's about it. But either way, I'm just gonna pick this size and, and we get the fold anyways. Probably not going to ever bluff raise there too often, but at the same time, uh, it's, that's just the way I play, guys. That's just the way I play. Uh, King 8, we're just going to call here on table 1. 
Probably going to check call one on the flop, but it's probably going to be close. Just depends what size he goes. Going to check this again on the turn and bluff river if it checks through. Something like half pot is probably going to be good enough. Now we're just going to go for a small bet uh, with the king eight here. Small bet on this river seems good. Get the fold. King six here checking. Jack nine going to check here again. I'm just going to end up check falling that river. On table two. Not going to be uh, trying to bluff a fish here, lads. So somehow we win with Jack High. Lull. And seven here fold. Fold. Jack ten here open. Fold the six four here too. I should have folded that already, but whatever, it's fine. This is fine. Before the fold. It's nine here versus the hijack. We're going to fold this time, but it will be a frequency three. But uh, that guy marked as a fish. I don't know how accurate that is. If he's open at 2.12, probably not going to be a recreational, I guess. If I had to guess, excuse me. Jack's here opening, as I said, on table three. Jack is here folding. King seven here, we're going to three bet on table one. Uh, three betting, as I said. Going to be four betting these jacks as well. Something like 20 big blinds seems fine. And if he jams, we're going to call half the time, boys. We'll start with a bet here on table one with the king seven. I'm going to stay betting on table seven, or table one as well, which is what you guys can see. I'm probably going to bet, bet, jam this hand. I just jams himself, never mind. Um, we do get the fold here. Table. Uh, table two, we're going to call with the king jack. Let's worry about this here. Two is here, we're going to check. I'm trying to think if I want to raise this on the turn versus that size, and I probably will on table two. Probably going to do this exploitatively. And if we could call, probably give up, I guess. We do get the fold, though. Uh, table one here, we'll see by the ace-jack on this board, but we get the fold. Mark this guy here. So yeah, that uh, King 7 hand man, I think it's a pretty standard double barrel there because he's just supposed to have a lot of like ace highs in his call call range. Or call fold range, excuse me. But when he check jams the fucking turn there as quick as he did, obviously we're just dead. We're turning the uh, blockers to straight is quite relevant there. We've no showdown value with that hand anyways. Um, we're going to start with a bet here with the jack 6. We're going to stay barreling what, against what is perceived to be a fish. Obviously three by folding that there. So it's going to be 70 here on the turn. I'll probably give up if I get called on the turn itself. Having these blockers are bad because we're blocking the folding range, so we'll just give this up on the river. And he's got ace queen. It should be a fucking three bet pre. King Jack here just calling on table two. And we're gonna bet this this time on table two. We're gonna bet it this time on table two. We're gonna mix bet and check on table on, on the turn if he calls. Yeah, as I said, we're still gonna mix bet and check here. Probably still betting here though most of the time. Actually, checking back on that roll is probably okay. Probably better. And now once he checks, we're just going to go three quarters and probably call a raise. I don't expect him to be protected enough here with 7x. Most, if, if ever. I think. He just gets to fold anyways. Again, like that's going to be a big overfold in that node, lads. Uh, King Jack here with defender versus 3x from under the gun, which is what I perceive to be a recreational. Especially when he's betting pot on that flop. It's never going to be a pot bet on that flop, lads. But whatever. A6 here folding, is 10 opening, King 4 we're going to open as well. Alright. Alright, this guy here as well. King 4 will open as I said. Um, this A6 on table 2, we're going to actually going to go for an overbet here on this board texture. We get the fold, we're going to zoom out here. Queens on table 6, or table 6. <laughs> Um, table four, we're going to check back on this high roll. As I said, monotone textures before, guys, are not high frequency bets, usually. 
I think here on table four, we can just start with a very, very small bet here with range. Sevens here we're going to call versus that three bet size. And we're going to check now on the turn. We face an overbet on the turn here. We're going to call with the queens for one. And probably if he bets the river here, we're going to fold. Checking the tens here now. He's going to check back on table four as well. He's got ace jack. It's very, very tend to do that on the turn. Um, I might actually go for a 10% bet here on the river with the tens. Either that or check call. One or the other. I think checking is here is fine. Eights or sevens here. We have to call one on table one. He does check back. Uh, we're going to start folding sevens here now, I guess. In this situation. Sevens there without a spade might be already a fold on the flop. But I think people might be oversee betting that board. I guess. But either way, Ace King here, we're just going to be getting in here, button versus cutoff. Take it down. But yeah, i got to go for another 20 minutes, lads. 30 minutes is what I got this recording is going to be. As I said, playing four tables like this is a lot more different than playing two. So I'm not going to play as long as I mentioned. Ace4 are going to fold there. I'm going to check this King 8 again and just try and bluff River for half pot. That's what we're going to try and do. What we're going to try and do. We can call by sevens, so that's fine. Our king queen here opening. Hold up there. I have this guy here too. Uh, we've got the king of hearts here on table four, so we're going to start with a bet here. And king ten versus this guy. We're going to start betting pretty aggressively as well, since he's a fish. Return showdown value here now. We're just going to check back mostly, I guess. On table four. Let's read about this ace nine as well. It seems okay. I guess a fish. Uh, yeah, I don't see any Martin betting this now. I'm just going to check back. See what happens. Happy enough to checking it down now. He doesn't even bluff queen three with the queen of hearts. Jesus Christ, let's. Uh, table three here. We flop enough flush draw against, against the under the gun. Check that back on another table. So, we unblock queen 10, we unblock 9, 10. Well, we don't actually unblock 9, 10. We block 9, 10 sooner. I'm just going to double barrel this and give up if I don't improve on the river, lads. Simple as. Is what I'm going to do. And we do take it down. Table 2 here. We check back the flop. We call the turn. And we're going to have to call the river, unfortunately. He's got king 6. Nice as guys still find a bluff there in that situation. Fives are opening. Four five folding. Is that we check here on table one? Um probably going for a block bet here on the turn. Take it down. Taking it down. Ace Queen are opening. Ace is. Probably check back on table four or table three, excuse me. And I might check this down, I guess. Uh, if he bets, I'm going to fold. Half pot is close here. I might call half pot. I think I pocket ace, that's fine. In Queen are folding. Small bet, my Jeeves. We bet three quarters and would fall versus 50% is closer. 55 technically is what the size he used. It's the size he used. A nine year opening. An eight year opening, excuse me. Ace, king, we're obviously three button. Are we going broke versus either profile if they find a four bet? Down. It's King here on table four. King 10 here, always three button here, I believe, on table two. It's King here, three button, as I said. Take it down. Take it down on table four as well. And here's your fold. Fold. Now, Queen Jack here is going to be checked folded, I guess. Um, gonna check here again. 
three bet these jacks here and probably stack off versus this tax size. And just gonna check call, check call on table four, table three. I'm gonna size up here against the fish on table four. Don't expect him to either fold a pair. Seven five here checking. Mark these guys as well. So many recreations on the stake, boys. Um, I actually don't mind going for a small bet here with the 7-5 when it goes check-check on the flop. 7-5 here checking. I mean, obviously the big blind can have some ASX here. And he does call. And it's going to check fall this river now, I think. And just check back with 7-5 as well. Cool. Come on, DC'd here. there. I uh, kind of have to call here with a good shot to the effect of nuts, I guess. Might just end up check jamming this turn here now, but I don't expect this guy to pot the flop here to ever have fold, so there's no point in potentially check jamming here on this turn because he's never going to have enough folds. So it's, the only reason why you do this with semi-bluffs in general, lads, is to get folds from hands that, you know, you just pot 9-8, man. Jesus Christ, the fish are alive on 25 and L, man. He must, he must, he must, he must be a super user, you can see my cards. Must be a super user, you can see my cards, eh? 10-4 here, fold. We open this queen three, fold that there now, fold that there also. Fold that there. Uh, queen three here is going to be an interesting hand to bet small and over bet in certain turns, we'll see what happens. Jack nine just going to bet here high frequency against his profile. I'm going to set with a small bet here. It's queen nine I would be calling versus three bet sizing. Defo, defo, defo going for an over bet with this hand on the turn. For sure. There might be an argument to go even 2x pot here. But 150 is probably going to do the job good enough. In my opinion. But either way, we're going for an over bet here. And we're going to zoom out here now because we're going to be three betting this ace queen here. On table one. We do get the fold on table four. Jack 9 gonna check back here and I'm gonna try and bluff rivers. Queen 9, I'm actually gonna check back on table 2 also. And if he checks the turn here, we're gonna start bluffing. And I'm gonna fold here with the Jack, yeah, jack 9 as well. Yeah, I'm gonna start bluffing here now with the Queen 9. We get the Ace Queen through here. So, table 2 here, we're gonna start with a small bet and we're gonna go 70% on the river. He does call. As I said, we're gonna go 70% on the river here exploitatively. That's what we're gonna do. Three button here on another table. We're gonna zoom out here now with the ace king. So we get the fold. Great. Ace jack here checking. Jack 10 is a low frequency open for me under the gun. Uh, we can't really fold with a good shot to the nuts here on table one, lads. Obviously, facing a pot size bet isn't great, but we can't fold to the good shot to the nuts, which we do hit. And if he bets pot here, we're just gonna jam, lads. Unfortunately, he doesn't. We're just gonna go for a block right here and I'd always call a raise. We get called anyways, so that's fine. And he had a Queen Jack with the Jack of Diamonds. Um, King Queen off here on table three, I will call versus small three bet. I will call versus a small three bet, but once he bets pot here, we're just gonna fold. Open this five, six as well. Open this five, six as well. We're gonna call the King 10 here. Fold this Jack three. Check in here, fold that there. A three is going to open this time in a low roll. Jack's Rob's just three betting here. I'm going to start with a small bet now against his profile. King Temer is going to call here. A small bet here seems fine. Call here. Threes are just going to fold. This is going to be a very, very over bluff node on average here on table three. But we've got aces here on another table. If, if anything happens, I'll uh, just zoom out. I'm going to call here with the Jacks, anyways. He starts with a 20 here. Like, if this guy is a fish, we shouldn't be folding here for what it's worth, lads. It's going to be a pretty overbluff node on average, so I'm just going to call down here against him. Look, if he has a king here, he has a king. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. But he checks back, and he's got jack eight. So there you go. Point proven. Point proven. Um, 
Checking here with the King 10. This guy bet the flop, bet the turn. We're probably going to call the river when he goes small, small here. Unless he goes for an over bet on the river. Yeah, I'm not going to be folding versus this size and scheme here on table one. Yeah, he's got King Queen. That's fine. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. So yeah, I'm going to go for 10 more minutes, lads. Just let me know when you're watching this. Do you like these shorter format with more action like this? Um, is it easier to follow? Is it more difficult to follow? Just let me know, all right? Because I want to try and change it up a little bit when there's more action like this going on. Uh, obviously, having aces here, we're going to go for 14 big blinds because we're slightly deeper. On table three. Unfortunately, no action, but that's okay. But yeah, just let me know in the comments below. Do you like this? Do you like this new format of four tables? And whatever. As uh, I'd rather play a shorter session. I'd rather play a shorter session um, with more action, potentially. Then vice versa. Uh, going for an over bet here on table two. Jack nine or three betting as well. We get called here. Um, this combo in particular on the turn isn't a great one to double barrel, I don't think, because I don't. I I blocked the folds like Queen Jack and Jack Ten that he's supposed to have. So I'm going to check this back on table three or table two, excuse me. And if he bets the river, we're going to fold. If he checks, we're going to bet. Yeah, I was going to fold there. Now that's fine. A lot of the continuing range in that situation, as in my opinion, is going to be ASX. As I said, blocking Queen 10 and Queen Jack is bad there because that's the only call fold he's going to have on the turn. So there will be some turn cards in a barrel there, like a club. I might barrel Queen Jack there at a frequency, but for the most part, probably not that often. Or the Queen 10, I should say. Come back this guy here. Yeah, I'd be interested to hear what you guys say or think about this new format with the new uh, four tables. I don't, I don't mind doing the four tables for smaller stakes. Don't think I'd bother doing four tables for 100 mil, for example. But it's only 30 minutes, so it's not the worst. It's not the worst. I'm going to check this back on table three as well. And if he checks, we're going to start bluffing the turn. Open the 9-7 here for one. We're going to call the Queen Jack here for one as well. And if he checks the river, we're going to bluff, obviously. If he bets, we're just going to fold. And he does bet. Just going to fold now. Ace Jack or three betting very, very standards. Uh, we get pretty close to a min four bet here. Just going to fold this Ace Jack because it plays so poorly. OOP. Or sorry, in position itself. Going to be three betting this here on table one against the fish. I take it down. Yeah, even though I'm getting a great price there with ace-jack off, lads. It's just the playability in that situation is just terrible. Don't make that pre-flop mistake. Oh, but the price was so good. Don't care. It's not about prices sometimes. It's about ranges. And ace-jack off in that situation is going to play absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Plus, you're 130 big blinds deep. You want hands that can make the nuts, lads, usually. Usually. Hold this jack seven here. Big six fold, 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 fold. Fold that there as well. Jack nine opening here. Eight's opening. Maybe defended the seven three. Versus the min. Uh, eight's here is going to be folded with three more players behind. Like if I call here, even though I actually technically rolled high, just not going to be calling here because I don't want to invite another fucking three players behind, man. It's just it is what it is. Uh, seven three here, we're going to defend for one. Gonna check fall on the turn now, Ovs. And uh, we're just gonna end up check folding this turn. We're gonna make this 12 big blinds here on table three. Yeah, just check folding here. Seems fine. Gonna start with a small bet against his profile, and we're gonna check back the actually I don't mind betting this ace five this time. Gonna four bet this king ten here also. Oh, this guy's probably a fish. He's actually not, I don't know if he is or not. Table one. Uh, I'm going to check this King Queen here on the turn. We're going to bet the river if he checks on the turn itself. If he bets, we're just going to fold. 
Alright, I'm just gonna fold the S5 there now. Um, yeah, probably can't fold King High here for small like that. Just in case we do River a King or a Queen. I'm not gonna be check calling or check folding for that size and scheme. And now we just fold now. Table one, your man's got a big decision. We'll open this with a fish in the blind. I mean, imagine the big fucking Hollywood tank, boys, eh? Imagine the big Hollywood tank. Something else. Uh, Queen Jack here calling on table uh, four, three, excuse me. Big Hollywood tank, huh? Let's see, big Hollywood tank. Hilarious. Uh, we're just gonna bet half pot here on the river with the Queen Jack. On table three. Get the fold. Alright, this guy here. Let's see, another five minutes, lads, and we're GG. Uh, Ace King obviously is going to be getting this in here, even against the fish. Ten easier open. Just going to set up a small bet here on table one. Let's we'll zoom in there because there's not much else going on. Uh, we're probably going to end up check folding on the turn now. Check folding there's fine. Uh, Queen eight, uh, uh, ten eight. We're gonna start betting on the turn here now. And we're gonna go three quarters on the river. On table four. Get the fold cool. A to fold there. Uh, Ace 10 here opening. King Jack. We are going to three about this time. Queen Jack here folds. Take it down. Seven five folds. Uh, I'm gonna call one here with the two overs and the ace of diamonds on table four. And if he checks, we're probably gonna check back with the ace 10. It's best for us gonna fold now. Uh fours we're not going to call this time. A queen jack, we're gonna bet this time on table one. It's not a great hand, but sometimes we're just gonna get folds on the flop, which is great. We're gonna check back to Queen Jack now. I'm probably gonna overfold on the river. Probably. 7-8, we're gonna three about here on table two. Just checking it back now. He's got ace 10. He should bet that himself. Three about the 10s here. Uh, we flopped relatively well here on table two. Just going to go half pot, half pot here all the time, I think. This might be a triple barrel, though, in these formations. That's the thing. This might be a triple barrel in these formations, but we just get a fold. I'm okay with that. Um, table one, we check back to flop. We're going to call the turn. Probably going to overfold on the river now. As we just have better hands to continue or better hands to defend. He's got ace nine. That's fine. Uh, Tens is going to start with a high frequency bet on this board. And eights here are actually going to four bet this time on a, on a low roll. We got min check raised here. I'm not sure if this guy's a fish or not, interestingly enough. But we are going to call four bet the eights, or sorry, four bet the eights itself. We're not going to be folding tens just yet. Obviously, folding eights versus the jam. Um, the thing is, on this board with eights, we actually might have a hand that might want to blast off here on table three, lads. I'm not going to lie. I'm blocking a lot of the call, call, fold range. I'm blocking ace, queen, put pressure on ace, jack, etc. So we'll see what happens. I'm oh, sorry, that's the wrong table, my bad. Yeah, I think I'm just going to bet, bet, jam this, lads, on non hard completing rivers. Obviously, he's going to have like ace, king, and king, queen, and stuff like that, but. I do think eights on this on this board, it just doesn't have that much showdown value. And given that we have such a good range advantage, we're just going to be bet bet jamming this, I think. But if a hair comes in the river, we're going to give up. Yeah, I mean, it's still probably okay to jam this. Like, yeah, I'm probably going to go for it still. Probably going to go for it still. This probably doesn't look great, but I am going to go for it. I am going to go for it. Not sure if this is good or not, but it is what it is.
I know for a fact I don't have showdown value here. That much I can verify. And we do get the fold. Sometimes it is good. I don't know. Uh, Ace-5, we're going to check back on table 1. Obviously call that river now, no matter what size he goes. Unless he goes pop, we're probably still going to call. We're going to sit out next big blind anyways now, boys, because it's 30 minutes, and I just want to do 30 minutes recording, and I'm waiting for you guys' feedback on it. So I'm going to sit out next big blind. We're going to play for whatever length of time. As I said, betting half pot here on table 1. Get the fold fine. I fold the A7. Nine there folds. King Jack here open. Uh, seven eight, we're not gonna worry about that time. I have a finish there now. I tree about this ace nine here. Queen nine gonna fold. Nine seven folds. Uh, we get called for but it's a very, very easy fold. And we're done there too. Ace ten it will be opening. Come on, mate. Come on, dude. All right, open the ace 10, obviously. And we get min three, but obviously calling. That was a table three. Uh, I was going to check this back exploitatively. Because I'm going to overbluff this node a lot. And I am just going to call. Let's see what he does in the river. Uh, I'm going to raise that now, though. Raise it to like 13.5 seems okay. We get the fold. I'm fold the 2.5. All right, we're done. All right, guys. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about this new format. I think it's a lot better for viewers to watch 30 minutes than, I don't know, 50, 55 minutes in general. Obviously, the hand history reviews are always going to be an hour, and the sweat session reviews are always going to be an hour because I want to give as much as I can in that 30-minute recording. So do let me know in the comments what you think about the new format. Is four tables too much of action? Do you want me to go back to the two and make it 45 to 50 minutes long? Do let me know, okay? Um, as always, if you made it this long, guys, or made it this far, I appreciate all the views and all that stuff, all right? Any comments, any feedback in general, let me know in the, this, or the comments below, all right? Thanks again for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.